So let's start with this, you know, the question, the, the common refrain in Indian society, ki shadi barbadi. What do you have to think about the very concept of shadi which is being questioned? And then what do you think of the Indian match fixing that we are talking about? First of all, shadi is not a barbadi because <laughs> everybody wants to marry. And TK, there are ifs and buts and little adjustment compromises there. And if you don't do that, then it's a barbadi. Simple one. Okay. Thoda adjust and compromise karlo. Thoda flexible be. Give and take. Love and respect. If this little, little things we follow, mm -hmm. then it's not a barbadi. Yeah. So always the marriage is a, I mean, it's a smooth marriage if you follow these things. Yeah. But nowadays in youngsters, they have a lot of egoism. They are studied. They are financially independent. They have. So all these things, they are not grabbing all these things. And 20 years before, the parents also had taught the children, ki no, okay, you have to go, you have to adjust in your in-laws place. And even you have to adjust, even the husband will adjust, wife will adjust. If this concept comes, then the things will go smoothly. But in nowadays, we have to tell the children, we have to teach them. Mm -hmm. So this is the mantra, Guru Mantra, what I give everybody. That little, little compromise, little flexible and little complementing each other. Okay. If you do, then the things will go smoothly. Lovely. Yeah. And uh, you know, this entire bunch of millennials and Gen X, the moment you talk about an arranged marriage, they kind of scoff at the idea as almost as, oh my God, you had an arranged marriage is like how they do. I am product of an arranged marriage and I can tell you I'm very happily married. Yeah. So how would you probably tell this new generation about the Indian arranged marriage? How would you convince them to go for this? In love marriage, first there is love, then there is arranged. Okay. In arranged marriage, first there is arranged and then it's love. Okay. This is the beauty of arranged marriage. Mm. In arranged marriage, two families are involved. Okay. In love marriage, they are not involved. In two families, if any problem is there, anything is there, anything, the two families come and they have a big support system for the girl and boy. Right. That's the beauty of the arranged marriage. And in arranged marriage, the concept has changed. What youngsters think, oh, arranged marriage means we forcibly they are saying, it's shadi karna, it's not like that. Right. After the show, they came to know, oh, we have to give our criteria and preferences. Yeah. And according to that, the thing is fixed. Right. So, this concept now youngsters are coming and they are coming back to arranged marriage. Oh, we want to do arranged marriage. Because now they are understanding. Okay. Our preference and con because I have told them, 100% you will never get. Okay. If 70% you will get, you must proceed. 100% okay. nobody has got up till now. Okay. So, 70% with the criteria and preferences you have, if you are fulfilling it, then okay. you should proceed. Lovely. So, this is the beauty of an arranged marriage. Okay. And you personally would have done how many uh, such matches, ma'am? How many would you have done? Yes, uh, you have very good question. <laughs> uh, I cannot remember, okay. but uh, I am doing since 15 years. Okay. So, I think some 150 or 200, I think. I remember, I have, exactly I cannot right. give the figure. Right, right. So, so how did how did this person called Seema Tapaya kind of burst into the scene? I mean, what is your USP that made you... This, this, you know, kind of a face who is so recognized. What do you think is different from you and the, the other matchmakers? Actually, uh, Suitable Girl, when uh, documentary came on me, right. me and my daughter. And okay. that has won award in Tribeca Film Festival America. Right. So, they pitched the idea to Netflix. Okay. That you do this docu-series taking Seema Taparia. And okay. it's a reality show. Right. There are no dialogues. Yeah. And they have portrayed me what my values are there. My traditional values... My Indian uh, values, I'm a very much strong, I mean, I have my Indian values that they have portrayed. I'm very happy they have portrayed that. Okay. And this thing made me a star. Okay. And this thing, the uh, the documentary uh, made, it was a hit because of my Indian values and all these things. Values. Lovely. So people have loved this. Okay. They said, because you were honest, you were humble and you were so sincere. Okay. We liked you because of that. Lovely. And the show became hit. Okay. And it was really amazing that I never thought the show will rock the world. Okay. It has rocked the world. Lovely, lovely. And now with an Emmy nomination, I think it's moved to another. God is great. <laughs> if India wins Emmy, then God is great. I think. <laughs> it will be a very much yeah. big achievement right. for India. Right. And, and in general, in arranged marriages, typically where, you know, the background checks and everything else is done. But there are still some cases that are not successful. Yeah. So usually, what do you think is your, from your experience, what could go wrong in such things? You see, they think 10 times and they batch and they yeah. get married. Yes. But in the future, if the girl or the boy has some ego problem, okay. some non-adjusting thing, they are not happy, they are fighting or they are, I mean, they are having independent financial 
so much they have and they are very much proud of that okay. and if they don't enjoy and flexible and all then how will the marriage get successful right so who is guaranteed for that Absolutely. nobody is giving guarantee even even whether it's no, love nobody. or unmarried yeah the girl and the yeah. boy only has to sort out everything yes so it is depends on person to person if you when you uh, i mean adjust and compromise and do all those things in your office you go to airport and if the flight is late what do you do yeah. you just sit calm and quiet for 2 hours 3 hours right. or you jump and say no no i want to run yeah. when there you can compromise a little adjust yeah. why can't we do in a family life absolutely so just at it you do little bit little sacrifice both okay. both of them not only girls okay even the boy and the girl little compliment each other love and respect okay. little adjustment and the things go smoothly right. so there is no problem what you told that yes. after arranging marriage also if they don't follow these norms It then the problem is going to then. come it's going yeah. to come that thing and you personally ma'am did you have a love or an arranged marriage mine was 38 years yeah. before arranged marriage okay and and how did you say yes and how did your husband say yes to you maybe that will be like a, a nice beacon of light for the youngsters yeah. at that time the marriage is now also it's from family to family at the time it's from family to family okay i am from gulbarga okay and lauti family is affluent in gulbarga okay. and my taparia family also is a big industrialist okay. of india right so thus they see family to family okay and horoscope also they see okay. the horoscope matched okay. family was good they yeah. went and saw the upbringing and the values of the family okay that is very important okay. now also i tell all my clients and people okay. and youngsters don't see just beauty or money or that yeah. you just see the family values and the upbringing is very important absolutely so they saw all these things and when the both the uh, families they said oh we like the girl and we like the boy we didn't have any questions as we didn't like it oh, you didn't ask, you didn't ask any questions to you just husband. one or two questions that's all <laughs> but we know that the parents are doing a good job okay we believe on parents Lovely. and now also if the youngsters they live on parents they will do a good job okay <laughs> for their children they will find the best match okay. that's the thing okay so that time the system was that okay. now it's left on the children that okay. you tell yes then we can proceed that's right. it right and hyderabad as uh, since i know you as like a high profile uh, you know matchmaker hyderabad has a big community of reddies and naidus extremely you know wealthy so have you had a chance to to do some weddings locally no here. i'm working for few of them i cannot disclose but i'm working for few of them okay so you might so we might hear of some celebrities getting married soon <laughs> <laughs> okay. i'm working for them lovely and if you had to kind of tell three things that all youngsters should ask their partners before they get married what would those three questions be like uh, it depends on person to person actually okay i cannot tell that you ask this three question okay. somebody wants that their wedding should match okay. somebody wants that their uh, chemistry and the family should match somebody wants that i am educated so i want the girl or the boy to get educated right. so it depends on person to person what they want these three things right but i always advise the youngster you see the education you see the family background because that only carries in the future if the family background or the upbringing is not good then the marriage doesn't become successful because the girl and boy they do tantrums and they go according to their wishes So, if you have a good background and a good uh, upbringing, that it's sixty percent the girl or the boy can take care of. So, I say you see that first. Okay. Then you see education also important, looks also are important. Lovely. And that those are the secondary things. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Last question. Uh, what are you up to next? Uh, do you have another show? Are you getting busy with matchmaking? What is twenty twenty two hold for Seema Tapariyadi? Whole world wants season two. <laughs> okay. So just I'm flying tomorrow. I'm going for Emmys. Okay. Then again I'm coming in after ten days. Again I'm flying to LA for season two. Okay. So I think by then next year because it take one year. Right. We are having more episodes and it take time to edit yeah. and all. So yeah. next by next year you will see Emmy at this uh, season two. One. Everybody wants. Wherever <laughs> I go, airport, hotel or anywhere, see my auntie. We loved your show. <laughs> When is season two coming? Okay. I'll tell you. People are really crazy for the show and God is great. Okay. I never thought that people. I, I wanted love and respect mm-hmm. so I got love and respect That's and fame was a byproduct wonderful That's and it. and do you think more people more youngsters would be convinced about uh, arranged marriages do you yes, think that will happen yes okay. after the show i have heard from the society the youngsters are saying oh we want to do now arranged marriage because <laughs> they came to the concept okay first they thought arranged marriage means zabardasti yeah, yeah, chalo yeah. karo you do yeah. but now they came through the concept yes. they what they want 1 2 3 4 list wise right. and now the youngsters are again they are coming back to the arranged marriage absolutely absolutely thank you so much uh, seema ji that thank was uh, seema tapariya for you so uh, we wish her uh, and her show a uh, very good luck 
and we'll catch her in the season two of yes, Indian. Yes, thank you, thank you.